Hi guys and welcome to PhantomJS tutorial number 4. In this video we're going to be looking at three examples to demonstrate some basics for web scraping. The first example will be adding text to the input on a page. In our case we'll be adding some text to the search field on the Indeed website. In the second example we'll be adding text using a variable to this uh, field. And the third example we, we will return text from the web page and print it out. So let's get started. So to start, let's go page.open and we want to go to the Indeed page. And then we will open up a function. And inside this function, we want to go page.evaluate. So this evaluate method will allow you to interact with the web page. Whenever you want to click a button on a web page or type something into an input field, you need to do it through the evaluate method. So let's open up a function. And inside this function, we will go we will go document.get element by d. And the element we want to get is this search field, because this is where we will be uh, adding our text to. So if we just inspect it, we can see it has an ID of what. So we'll go what, and what we want to do is to it is set the value of it equal to developer. So now what this is going to be doing is open the Indeed page, then call this evaluate method, which will allow us to interact with the Indeed page. And what we will be doing is selecting this search field from the what ID, and then we'll set the value to developer. So for testing purposes, let's go page dot render. And inside here we want to print out uh, before we we'll print out a JPEG before and we'll also print one out after and the format is going to be JPEG and the quality is going to be 100 so now we can copy this So what we're going to be doing here, here is first open the Indeed page and then we will take a screenshot of the web page before we do anything to it and then we will call our page.evaluate method which will set this search field to developer and then we'll take a screenshot after and we should see the screenshot after say developer in there. We also need to go phantom.exit otherwise it's going to run forever. We go. So now uh, let's go and test it. Downloads and PhantomJS tutorials. So let's run this. There we go. We got our before picture, which you can see is the Indeed page, and this field is empty. And if we look at the after page, there we go, we got our Indeed page and we successfully put the word developer in there. There we go, so now let's do example number two. We copy paste that, comment this one out. So in the next one, instead of using, instead of hard coding text there, let's set it to a variable. search there. So if we try to run this here, this is going to open up the page.evaluate method and try to set the value to search. But this evaluate method is, is sandbox, so that means it can't see this search variable. Let's try it and run it. Can't find variable search. Undefined. So it couldn't find this. 
So what you have to do is take the search, pass it to this function, and place it there as the argument. So this is an argument for the evaluate method, and this function is using that argument. So now the search value, the search value will be found. Let's run it again. There we go, it ran. So it should be the exact same thing now. So after, put in developer, and before, nothing. Perfect. So yeah, that's important to remember that the evaluate method is sandboxed and it can't access any variables outside of the evaluate method. So you might be wondering, how would we return a value from the page? And then we will look at that in the next example. So let's comment this out. Copy that, paste it there. So for the next example, we're going to go to PhantomJS. And we're going to use PhantomJS to take this text off the page and return it. So let's take the URL, put that in there. Uh, we're not going to need this one in this case. We're not going to need this one. Uh, we're not going to need that as well. We won't need this either. So now in order to get the text from the web page and then print it out to the console, we need to go return document dot get element by ID and let's find out what this ID is. So feature dash zero one dot inner HTML. So now this function is going to get this element and return its HTML. And in order to print this out, we have to set this to a variable. So we'll go result equals that. And then we can console.log that result. So let's try this out. Head over back to uh, terminal run the same. There we go. So it printed out uh, all of this. So let's try to get just this text. So instead of printing that out, we can go children. So get that element's children and we want the first one. And then we want to print out that in our HTML. So let's try that one. Looks like, looks like we have an error. Let's check it out. Oh, R E N. Children. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So, headless website testing, which is exactly what we wanted. So, there you go. There's three examples that show you how to interact with the web page using PhantomJS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the newest videos. Thanks for watching.